Well, here they are. The 1047 props arrived today. And I came home from the shop, the fab shop, and the postman knocked as I was making coffee to take back. It's a couple of blocks away. And these arrived. Now, these are four for $19.99 at WTO Toys. So W-T-O-T-O-Y-S dot com. And they have a bunch of stuff there. They have multi-rotor stuff. They actually have some pancake motors that you don't see on eBay. 900 KV 50, 50, 5005s, I think. Anyways, so the Hoverbot's pretty happy with these. Had good flight, tested them out. Just out front, of course. Didn't bother taping it, because that's getting boring for most of you, so. Other than that, they seem to have good response. They might not be the best balance prop, I'm not sure. And if you look carefully here, let me see if I can get a background so you can see that, but not quite even at the back here. There's a little bit of a hook on the end of the uh, prop. I'm not sure you can see that there. So, as far as that goes, there you can see it. A bit of a hook on the end of a couple of them, and some of them are fine, like this one is fine. But there's one, you can see it's quite hooked. It still has the surface area minus just that little edge right there. So for $19.99, I'm not complaining. Uh, the fibers are a bit inconsistent in some areas. But other than that, they flew as well or better than the APCs. I'm not sure how they affected the flight time. But we will try them again and uh, see what we can do with the FPV time with them and maybe we'll get six or seven minutes out of them. I'm sort of wary of flying around people with them so not that a plastic prop would hurt any less but it's more of an ominous feeling knowing that you have carbon fiber props on your quadcopter than plastic nylon. That's for sure. It's much more serious and uh, I'll be watching my fingers and myself. So there you go, the uh, props. These are the 1045s that were sent by mistake. I gave them postage for these and they won't lift the hoverbot but the 1047s lift the hoverbot and hover at about 60% throttle. I have uh, new motors coming so these might be good for those. Um, 1100 KV uh, 2218 Emax GTs and uh, since they're going to be spinning at 100 RPM faster per volt, I figure I'll have 50% hover hopefully. And if I have to, I'll go to the 1045 props and spin faster if these uh, 1047s are too, too big still. But I doubt it. I think that they're probably going to need 11 inches. If anything, I'm going to have to probably get up in that because it's almost 100 watts more or more than 100 watts extra than what these motors have and these are the 3028s or the 2830s RC timers the blue ones and they're lifting 1.4 kilograms 1.3 kilograms depending on the battery so that's the review today of the 1047 props from WTOtoys.com and uh, can't I can say that the customer service was good so I'm not sure about doing their checkout and stuff like that. I haven't done that yet, but uh, check out the site, and I'll catch you later. Bye.